This, this is a boy. His name is Gavin Ticat, and he loves the world. Sing it, Gavin. We are the world. We are the children. Michael, we love Michael Jackson. Gavin Kit Kat wants to say to you that he loves the world. I love the world. I love you. My name is Gavin Kit Kat, and I want everybody to know Jesus Christ because he loves you, and he's coming back soon. My name is Gavin Kit Kats. Look at this baby boy. Isn't he amazing? Look, he's so, look at his eyes. Look at this boy. He's so beautiful. I got the screenshot. I love this kitty cats. Gavin Kit Kats loves you. And Gavin Kit Kats, do you know what the name Gavin means? The name Gavin means God sent. And I'm going to tell you something that that cat has healed my heart so much. So, join me tonight in about 20 minutes at this channel, and I'm doing a stream yard. I'm going to post the link. Please don't porn bomb. But I'm willing to talk to people because the Lord has really healed my heart in a lot of ways. So, uh, I think Shani will be there, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. And I'm going to be doing a uh, Christian support group. G-Man, I sent you a message with that. I want you there. Uh, have your Bible. We're going to do Bible studies. And we're going to talk about the end. We're here. It's time. The final harvest. The, 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 the wheat and the chaff. The sheep and the goats. Jesus is coming. Well, good evening, folks. How's everybody doing? So this is episode one of what I'm calling a Christian support group. Well, good evening, folks. How's everybody doing? Could you mute that, please? Oh, sorry, babe. I apologize. Thanks. Sorry. That's fine. So I see we already have an individual in the room, so before I even get started, I would say hi to Alan West, and if you could uh, please come on your camera and just give me a piece and uh, show me that you're a real person that I could put on, I, I, I would talk to you. Uh... But you're gonna have to give me something because I don't want you to be a, if you're a porn bomber. You know, it's this is just protection of the channel, and you know, it's the rules are in the pin comment. Rev Rollies, yeah, secular. I do want to get involved actually in the in the in the tobacco industry. <laughs> oh my God. You come in here with disrespectable names, it gets you kicked. Bye bye. Yeah, scamming. That's hilarious, Lardo. Yeah, we don't scam anyone. We've been in genuine need for our family because my I, I have two growing boys who eat a lot of food because they they need it. And uh, there's no scamming going on at all. Yeah, it is a lot of coffee. We got blessed and we, got, we were able to uh, get some stuff. We got blessed by donations and uh, we just love you all. Oh, that's you? Yeah, I would, I would kick you every time, guess who? Something Wong. Well, isn't that a great name? Well, can yeah, you... I wouldn't let them in. Yeah, this is such a waste of time. Because they're all trolls. This is like, you know what I mean? Hey, talk about what you need to talk about right Require now. Require all guests to log in. Okay, good. There we go. Okay. We're not begging. It's, it's just asking for support from individuals. I have to put the light on because it's getting very dark here for some reason early. Yeah, it's under, we've been getting thunderstorms quite a bit, so that's probably what it is. So, Alan, uh, are you going to come on, on video or come on mic or, or something? Okay, hey, what's up? All right. All right, cool. I'll add you. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hey, not too bad. How's your family can this doing? I hear, I hear the internet can you has, let them know I'm getting rid of that has been really really unkind to your family. Who? These people. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I not hear um, him? Um, yeah, I'm I think that's me. That's on my end. Sorry, bro. One sec. Yeah, no worries. Um, All right, I'm, awesome. I'm, I'm here. Family. Oh, thank can, you. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, I can. Yeah. My my speakers were muted. I'm sorry. So, what's up? Hey, Who I, are you? If you, <laughs> um, I've been I've been uh, a, a fairly new follower. Um, I, I've been a fan of uh, Channing's cooking shows. I was just wondering. I, I came on the chat here to ask if uh, the yeah. cooking shows are ever going to come back on. Well, brother, I'll tell you. Uh, once we're in a stable location. Uh, that that this this harassment and stalking will not affect our lives anymore. Then I believe Shani would. You want you never wanted to stop Shani. I mean, she was forced to stop. Right. They kneecap. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Right, and I'm just uh, I'm just wondering. Like, um, is there um, have you guys had sponsors reached out to you guys at all? Like, like do you guys get like any like do you guys get like super chats through this? Like, what's the deal here? Uh, not yet. No, I thank you very much for asking that. If you want to support me or Shani, your phone? if you want to support me or Shani. 
Uh, there's two addresses right above, right below my name, and the, the PayPal is her PayPal, and the Cash App is it's both of our Cash Apps because uh, brother recently they shut down both of our Cash Apps, so they're they're attacking wow. us financially. Oh. Yeah, they're attacking us financially. Wow, I'm not gonna be sorry about that. I appreciate you so much. All right, hey Wilson, you want to show your face? I'll, I'll let you in, man. All right, what's up? Okay, let's bring you in. Okay, hey, he left. Yo, what's up, Wilson? Uh, perfect. Thanks. Uh, man, crisis. You know, but it's look. Uh, we got God. I, I, I'm pretty sure you're atheist or whatever. That's cool. Uh, but, but we're trying to survive, and, and a lot of people have, are getting our stuff shut down, man. Like financially, you know. And it's been rough, but we're getting by. That, that's really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. I, I'm, I'm getting an echo on your end. I think. Oh, I'm sorry. It's too loud. For, hang on a second. I'm sorry. I'm going to do this professionally. Let me get my one second. I'm going to mute. And if you want to say something, go ahead. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Can you hear me, Jason? I could be a real douchebag right now, but I'm not going to. No, nah, I just I, I want to talk to Rev. Whatever you said. No. Yeah. Anyway, I kicked. I'm sorry. I was muted. But I kicked that motherfucker with Wilson. And I'll tell you why. Because he said out of his mouth, I could be a real dick right now about this. While he's trying to set, well, set things up and talk to you. You're not going to be welcome here if you're going to give us a snarky attitude and try to play us as people. If you can't respect anyone as a person in this channel... If you can't learn respect at being fucking 30-something-year-old or 40, however the whole hell old you are, Wilson, you're not welcome here and we're not going to talk to you. So learn fucking respect or you're not going to be welcome here. Mind Benda, you're welcome here because even though I know you're a troll, you're a respectable troll and I respect that. Thank you very much. I did my job, baby. I don't know why I bother. Don't lose your faith. Well, now everything is just... All right, let's see. Uh, I, gotta, I, I gotta learn how to run this room because I know there's porn bombers and a lot of dog shit, but okay. Hey, Mindbenda, uh, I would definitely let you in. Um, uh, let, uh, I'm just really afraid of porn bombing. Do you get what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, yeah, I, like you got to show some good faith. Like, give me a thumbs up or something. Like, don't if you don't want to show your face, I understand that you don't have to. I'm only seeing you. Nobody else sees you, man. So I just need a goodwill, you know, gesture. Matt, Matthew six ten. You have to do the same. And shotgun Bernie, you got to do the same. Like, I can't. You know what I mean? <laughs> we got food. Praise God, flower power. We did. So uh, let's try and start this right. Uh, this is a new show I'm starting for Christians mainly. Uh. It's very clear to me that that it's pretty much that's this is the end. Everybody that's asking about jobs is your you can shut your mouth and leave. You pieces of trash swatted me, and I cannot get a job. Every single application is no. You have this charge. Shut up about a job. I am going to probably be getting small jobs thanks to my the one person that's helping me. Aside from my family that's helping me. There's one man. Plus Jesus, of course. But he's the man God, so. This is a Christian support group for the end. You want to call me a Bill Cooper type individual? Yeah, even down to the alcoholism. You could call me that. I'm an open book. I'm like this book here that's open right now and it's, it's open to Exodus. And that's what we're going to start reading Exodus together as a family. And we're going to see the heathen rage in the side chat. 
Oh my God, how do they get, uh, well yeah, job placement, and they have programs for inmates. That's how they get it. I didn't go to jail, so I have no programs like that. And COVID has pretty much destroyed, well, everything having to do with uh, any kind of assistance or help. It's, it's all busted and broke. Whiskey Og. Whiskey Og. Okay, I see you there. Okay. Uh, are you, all right, hi. All right. No dick or nothing, right? You're just going to talk to me? Okay. All right, I'm going to bring you in. All right, we're going to add you to the stream. What's up? Hello. How are you? What do you want to say tonight? Um, I just want to say that I've watched you for a long time, and I, I don't like the way people are stalking you. and you know, Thank you. Like treating. I'm a Christian, too. Bless but, you. Yeah. But, how are um, you? How are you facing the crazy times we live in? Um, uh, honestly, right now I just got on Prozac. I'm very oh wow, okay. So, I'm just I think I'm just coping like everybody else. I'm just you know I got a, a girlfriend and cool. I like um I like to play basketball and things like that. But I, I think cool what you're doing on your channel. I'm a Christian too. Hey everybody. Yeah, hey, awesome. Well, it's great to meet you. And uh, yeah, just let, this is what it's going to be like. Anything that's on your chest that needs to get out, just say it. You know, talk it out with us. Okay. Well, thank you so much for um, letting me come up. I, I don't know sure. if anybody else want to come. I don't want to take anybody yeah. here, you know. Oh, somebody. yeah. I would. Yeah, sure. If somebody else wants to actually confirm that they're actually an individual that I could talk to, they like you did. You gave me a good gesture. Can I, by, can I, you know? can I ask you, um, are, is this, so this is the first, first stream you're doing for people to come to and talk about their Christianity, their, their lifestyle? Or you yeah, sure. Absolutely. Sorry, Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. This is going to be like a support group because I believe we are pretty much at the end of the, the road here. And uh, it's going to get very stressful, though, leading to it. We, you know, we need we know the end that Christ returns and, you know, he's yeah. king. So, uh, yeah, 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 that's a great thing. Just uh, tell us about your Christianity. How do you believe? Uh, how do you love Jesus? Give your testimony if you want. Go ahead. Well, I'll tell you, I've been a Christian for my whole life, I think. I, I praise and worship. So I praise and worship at my church. I play music. Um, and, you know, I used to go to Bible studies a lot, but I, I just don't have the time for it anymore, I, you know. I just don't have the time, but and I'm kind of nervous. Sorry. That's okay. No, uh, we got, they gave the goodwill gesture. Thank you, Matthews610. Uh, uh, you can come up and on mic and say what you want. Well, I just wanted to say, just real quick, I didn't want you to show me. I didn't want you to show me, okay? I did not want you to show me. <coughs> all right. Come uh, on, uh, just for a little bit, all right? Okay, uh, I know who that is. I just I, want you, just for a little bit. I don't, you, know, you know who that was? You can't hear it. it. Well, he's one of our stalkers. See, oh. this is, yeah, this is what we deal with, brother. Yeah, it's really crazy. Well, I, I, so, I, don't, I don't like, that's why I'm kind of nervous, because if people see my name, they might do that to me. So I don't want them to do that to me. I just appreciate you doing this, and I think you guys are wonderful. And I Thank wanna, you. When you do this again, if you don't mind if I come up, and maybe I'll stay longer. Yeah. You're always welcome, brother. And my name, my real name's Jason, and oh. uh, it's nice, nice to meet you. Thanks, Jason. Okay. Take care. I'll see you later, guys. All right, Jesus bless you. Now, see, that's a real individual. Athena, you have no devices connected. You're gone. You're gone. See, isn't this better? Yeah. I get in this place clean. Oh, Ronan. All right, Ronan. I, I know you, bro. Can you give me a thumbs up? Uh, just flash your cam quick. It, or just flash your cam or something. That, I just need a good... It's a goodwill gesture to say, hey, I want to talk, you know? And I, I let you on. Oh, here's Blue. I'm going to let Blue in right away. Yeah. What's up, Blue? I hope that Hello, Jason. How are you feeling? Just give me a couple seconds here. I got to fix the mic. That's fine. You sound great. You sound real good. Oh, my God. I, I mean, I know Blue ain't Christian. It's fine, you know? I'll put, I, I know Ronan. I'll add Ronan. You're on mic, Ronan. Hi, Jason. Mm. How you feeling, dude? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, uh, what uh, got my attention was, uh, you, you said, uh, well, it's like the end times. And I want to know, like, what's, uh, what has, has been happening that tells you that? Okay, that's a great question. If you go to Matthew 24, the Lord gives you the signs. And, uh, and I, I know, okay, there's always earthquakes. And there's, there's always been earthquakes, and there always will be earthquakes. Like, what's the big deal? It's the level of how many there are, and, and, and the, the magnitudes are going up and up and up. And it's like almost common to have a 7.5 shaker now. It's like, it, and that is one of the signs the Lord gave for birth pangs of, of the end. Because I'm like a red letter Christian almost, Ronan. Like, like, if Christ said it, then I'm on board and I believe it, and, and, and other stuff, eh, who knows? Okay, so go ahead. Well, uh, well that's the, one thing. Well, the point is, uh, you might have heard about the, uh, the Haiti earthquake a day or so ago. Yes. But, but the point is that you can find it online, and there's, a, uh, there's an actual earthquake report that's ongoing 24-7, and they're happening every day all over the world, you know, in different magnitudes. Obviously, some places are very isolated, like, well, in Australia or out in the, uh, in the uh, Pacific uh, uh, Ocean. You know, they're always happening. You know, that's part of, you know, ge uh, geological happening sure. in, in the world. But, uh, like I said, that, uh, like I said, well, that doesn't add up to me because, like I said, you can find that uh, geological uh, uh, graph, right, where it shows earthquakes happening all the time. 
it's yeah, not that's like, true. It's not, yeah, yeah, it's like nothing new. And I, like I said, that that may be one thing that tells you something, but I yeah. want to know if there are other things. Like oh, yeah. Things. Like what, please? Okay, well, how have you been surviving, uh, let's say, uh, the C word? How have you been surviving the weird, crazy times <laughs> that we're living in with, with the virus? How, how have you been dealing with it? Well, uh, obviously, you know, I've been vaccinated. Uh, well, before uh, the vaccination became available, uh, you know, widely available, uh, uh, two of my family members, uh, my sister-in-law and one of my brothers, uh, they contracted it. Like, oh, wow. uh, yeah, and well they, well, they got over it and got vaccinated and we move on. But it, uh, like it's in nature. I mean, like the common flu, it's going to be here forever. But like we had, uh, it was 100 years ago, I believe, we had a, a big old flu pandemic, you know, and it killed a lot, a lot more people, around 50 million, than have died o- over COVID. But yeah. obviously science has caught up and we know the patterns and they, they can develop a vaccine more quickly nowadays. And now mm-hmm. they're adjusting to the uh, Delta variant. So it's one of those things that if you all work together on it and get vaccinated, well, we can reduce the likelihood of it uh, obviously mutating and uh, spreading further still. Okay, let me ask you this, Ronan. How, how do you feel uh, about Bill Gates owning the patent to this, and the patent is 060606? How do you feel about that? I, I It's a number. Uh, it's just it's coincidental. I mean, someone else could have gotten it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's just one of those things. That's, I mean, that I guess it goes down you know, the list. You know what I mean? Number okay. by number. I, well, I, don't know. A, I don't know how the patent office works, but I figure you know, the numbers go consecutive, you know, one to a trillion, whatever it gets. I don't know. All right. Fa- that's fair enough answer, Ronan. You know, I, you just think it's coincidental. Fine. I mean, that's fine. I'm going to try and listen. I'm going to try and bring Mindbender in here because uh, he's cool. You know, let's hey, see. Hey, 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 pal. <laughs> this, is a no, this is a snock free zone, but no snocking around. Mm. What's up, Mindbender? It sounds great to me, man. And uh, we're going to rock with it and see how this goes. And wh- how have you been, man? What's up? How you been? Hey there, bud. Doing good, pal. How are, how are you and Shandy doing there, bud? Uh, we're, you know, hang, living on a prayer. Is that, Oh, hi, it's David Anthony. And that's, I mean, there's no reason that somebody... On yeah, Jovi, bud. That's right. Living on a prayer. We're trying, man. What's up, David? Hey, man. What's up? Uh, well, lots of You're drama what? going on, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, when isn't there, David? You know, it's, I mean, yep. there's there's always something. So how are you feeling? Where do you think we are? Are we at the end closer? Where, where do you think oh, we're Oh, okay. At? That's what this is about. We're talking about uh, end times. Sure, it's a Christian. Ha- it's a Christian support group, David, and 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 all Christians are welcome. And otherwise, really, it's it's a support. No group. man knows the day or the hour; only the Father. That's David, it, that's, pal. That's it, that, bud. That's exactly from the Scripture. So, David, how do you feel about this? What the, the crazy times? How do you feel? Um, I think I think we're on the last part of it. Or, uh, like just just when I think that there might not be any more time, it all just stretches out more for some reason. That's true. Yeah, you're right and, about uh, that. So, okay. All right. So you're saying uh, the Lord is very graceful, and He's just He's given more time to the wicked to come to Him. Um, you think? Uh, I, I, maybe. Maybe. Well, uh-huh. okay. Well, that, that is, there is a scripture where it says pretty much that that the Lord is long okay. suffering and doesn't want anyone to perish. Thank you. You're in. You're in the room. Welcome, uh, Journey One Six Five J. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Not doing bad. Uh, you, you could, do you know? Did he show himself? Yeah, they're on cam. They're they're just showing the ceiling. So introduce ourselves. How are you, Christian? What's what's up? Yeah, I'm a Christian. Cool. All right. Well, any, what's anything? going on today, Miss Journey? Why do you need support? Oh, yeah. I just need more people in my life because all, all the Christians here, they're, they're more like um, Pentecostals. No, yeah, I'm sorry. I believe. All right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing what I said, you know, to I can't add anymore. Man, okay, we're good there. Uh, okay. Oh, man. So what is there any topic you want to discuss, Journey? Yeah, um, actually, I, I just okay. was wondering if we could read some Bible verses. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have a suggestion you want to bring up? Yeah, I really, one that I'm on to right now is Deuteronomy uh, 20, okay. 28 to 29. Okay, 22. All right. Deuteronomy. I mean, would you like to do a reading of it yourself, or do you want yes. me to read it? Would oh, you? I, okay. I, yeah, I can read totally. Okay. Okay. All right, go for it. If a man meets a virgin who is not engaged and seizes her and lies with her, and they are caught in the act, the man who lay her shall give 50 shekels of silver to the young woman's father. Troll. And That's, she right. Come That's right, because 49 is not quite enough, and 51 is just a little bit too much. <laughs> what, is, what is that about? What's the point of the scripture? Pardon? Uh, uh, you, what's the point? Yeah, I, David, you said, what's the point of the scripture? I haven't yeah. finished it. That's okay. If okay. you're not interested. Go ahead. Yeah, no. I, just, I just interested where this is going. Yeah, I, I understand. But let, let her it's finish. About, it's about women being how they're supposed to and being submissive. Because as women, we need to be submissive to our husbands and to our fathers because they're the men. And That's right. Get in the kitchen right now. Make a sandwich as I speak. No, sandwiches didn't exist back then, so I don't consume those, and neither should you. But, okay, I, I can explain that. I mean, I, this this isn't the topic I really started off on. on I'm, I'm let, hey, David. Uh, hey, David. Let, let me anoint you right now. Okay, you take the show for it. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, this is going to be a, a Christian end timey thing, and we're going to help people out. So you take it, bro. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, you know all this all the stuff you're talking about in the Old Testament, where you know women are supposed to be submissive and all that stuff, and even a little bit in the New Testament seems to, seems to suggest that. Um, it's 
once once Jesus uh, ascended and put everything right, there's no difference between any believer as far as Jesus is concerned. We're all equally damned or we're all equally not damned um, as far as Jesus is concerned in our personal lives. But the thing is, is that when the Apostle Paul, when he started writing his letters and stuff, he saw that, that the people who were creating the early church um, started wanting to make like new rules for them to follow, just like what the Old Testament Jews tried to do. And so the Apostle Paul did like what Moses did. And he said, oh, you want some rules to follow? You won't be able to do it because it, because it won't make sense. But this is what you have to do. If you're going to try to please God by following a set of rules, then, you know, he created like women have to have their head covered and women had to be submissive to their husbands. And women had to go ask their husbands in private. What, you know, what, what did the preacher mean and stuff like that? Because all these rules the Apostle Paul set up was to stymie the people who were trying to bring legalism back into the belief system. Do you, do you think that we should still to this day, because I, I can't recall the verse, but it was one where, you know, if a woman is raped, she should be thrown out of the city. And I think that still applies because in our society, women are too emotional. And I feel like we should maybe just throw the women out of the city. I mean, even if there's something I, happens. I don't like agree that. with that. I don't agree with that at all. Damaged I mean, goods, damaged goods. That's right. Yeah, but, damaged goods. Yeah. I mean, that's that that comes that's that's people you know being short sighted and hypocritical. I just want to point out my timeline. The Earl Sandwich was a Philistine. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm probably on the Sagittarius though. All right, that's great, bro. Okay, what but what is there a point to this? Is there something you want to talk about that 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 there's a reason you're bringing this up? Me? Yeah. I, I just want to talk about how we should respect women for being submissive to their husbands and respecting their husbands and respecting the men around them and that men are the hierarchy of our society. Okay. If that's what you want to go by, fine. But, and if yeah. you don't want to go by, fine. There's, yeah, that's fine. That's, that's, yeah. It's just like the same rule that applies to uh, observing uh, holy days and stuff. The Apostle Paul said that if you want to do it, fine. If you don't want to do it, fine. As long as you're doing it or not doing it for God's glory. If you're going to esteem every day the same, then that's for God's glory. If you're going to esteem one day above another, then that's for God's glory. If you're going to go by and try to, try, if you feel comfortable submitting yourself to your husband, you're doing it for God's glory. If you feel that's both looking at all men and all women yeah. and all races equally, you're doing it for God's glory. It's whatever you decide to do, do it for God's glory. Amen. Amen. That's a great answer. Amen. Uh, yeah. Okay. We have a new person in the room, Athena. If you, I, you, you, hey, what's up? You came up, so introduce yourself. How you doing? What's up? Good. I'm Athena. I like to hula hoop with a spinal cord injury because of God. I love him. Okay. Well, I know a lot of people feel that way about uh, the concept of God, David. Uh, it's it's your show, bro. So take it. What? What? I don't know. What am I? What are we talking about again? Okay. To um, repeat. What? Go ahead. Go ahead, Athena. Oh, I was just excited to talk about the end because well, we can definitely tell that there's a collapse in our society, but there's definitely going to be like a phoenix moment for humanity and we're going to rise and be stronger and better than ever after this because everybody's waking up i love watching youtube and reading the comments on the mainstream media and watching all of us waking up it's so great yeah i totally agree with that i well, mean I, like i don't think it's going to be quite what people expect because just like just like can you think like you read the scriptures you study uh other you know prophecy experts and and whatever your own personal revelation might be and your own spiritual walk with god and you, then you go and you look at life and and you live your life and then you see things happening that just was completely unexpected. It's going into, it's going into different things that you didn't expect. It's not going to be like this, uh, like you're reading a storybook and then you think you know how things are going to be. You know, we, we romanticize the Bible stories and Bible prophecy and we think it's going to be this nice cookie cutter kind of thing. And it's not. It's going to be it's going to be complicated. It's going to be messy. It's going to be some of it's going to be glorious. Some of it's going to be horrifying. We, we just won't know until we go through it. Right. But we should just stay strong and keep that faith alive, I think. Right. Have you I, ever I heard have a question. Oh, hello? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I know that in the King James version of the Bible, unicorns are referenced nine different times. And I know that that's kind of controversial, but if an individual doesn't believe in the unicorns in the Bible, do you think that they're less close to God than somebody who does believe in the unicorns in the Bible? I don't know what you mean by unicorn. They're, they reference unicorns in the Bible nine times in the King James. There's no way to know what animal they're talking about. But I, mean, I think it's pretty clear because they say unicorn. You know, well, what I mean? we, have, we talk about unicorns in our society, in our language, our modern way of looking at things. We're talking about, you know, the mythological creature. Well, that that may Psalms, or may not be what they're talking about. Well, in Psalms 92.10, they talk about the, the horn of the unicorn, like the actual horn. You know, like, like I just said, you know, it's like the, the concept of the unicorn that we have today is only it's only like a few hundred years. It's only like maybe less than five or six hundred years old. You're talking about a scripture that's thousands of years old. Right. You know, but so do you, like, does that mean that other scripture is is not accurate? It, it depends on the context you're applying it in. Yeah, I have something to add because Shani just said this, that, that rhinoceroses were actually unicorns in the Bible. That makes sense. Well, I've heard that, but I, I don't know if I agree with that completely. But like yeah. I said, we don't know. We don't know. There could, be, there could have been another creature that went extinct. Yeah, we, we don't know. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we have a new person in the room. Shadow in the closet. What's up? I want to read uh, from Revelations. Yeah, do it. It says, outside of the dogs, those who practice magic arts, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves them practices Hoods, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. So all uh, these people that keep fucking with you guys, what are they doing? Is this black magic? 
Absolutely. It could be black magic. Some of them are yeah. definitely into the occult and, and uh, are Satanists and stuff. Like, yeah, definitely. It's, what uh, Catholics? It's, it's other people. It's people Catholics. Okay. It's, people, it's other people. And it, says, it says, blessed are those who watch their robes that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city. So, oh, little fuck? baby. Go ahead. In the word of Jesus Christ. I hope that baby wasn't out of wedlock. Oh man. Uh, yeah, Dave, I, right here. yeah, yeah, I'm starting to get a weird vibe too. So, oh boy. Um, okay. We will see you, know, you hey, later. Jason, you know, I do I do have my issues with you, but if we're, we're but if we're talking if we're talking about scriptures and stuff, you know, hey man, you know, we do what we do. Well, yeah, David, well let's just uh, let's just talk about this for one second. Brother Jesus said that you if you have something uh, you know, if you, if you got something against your bro brother, you come to him. So, look, I'm done defending myself because uh, the fact of the matter is, is that people are going to believe what they want to believe, just like they believed about John the Baptist and all these other guys. So uh, you can believe what you want to believe with me. Okay, You're still yeah, my, bro okay. You're my brother. Judge. You're ultimate judge of Jesus. Yeah, that's and, how I feel. Uh, <laughs> okay, then. Okay, I'll, I will. I will. I will uh, endeavor to try to keep it there. Hey, Amen. I hear you. Hear baby from, noises, from guys, this, because uh, there's a baby forward, with I, the one person. From this point forward, I will. I will try. I will make. I will try to make an effort. I bl I bl uh, David, you know, David, you always knew I liked you, okay? I, like, even with Rand Campbell, I wouldn't support the crap of, of them, the way they treated you and stuff, man. I, I like you, you know? That's all I got to say yeah, about it's, that. It's like, it's like the situation with my brother. There's, there's a lot of stuff between us, but we, you know, we're going to, like, put that aside. At least, yeah, at least for the sake, if you're, if you're running a live stream here, where you're trying to, where you're trying to promote uh, Christian values and things like I that, am. Then, yeah, okay, for the, sake of, for the sake of this live stream, I'll, I'll put that stuff aside. Okay, well, that's fine. But I, I'll just say for the record in front of everybody that every single allegation you can imagine is false. It just is. So I mean, whatever. I'm gonna kick that from this. All right, we got, all right. Uh, you got a baby in there. So okay, do you have something you want to say, Athena? I'm talking to you. Can you hear me, Athena? I don't think she can even hear me. All right, bye. -bye. I'd, I'd like to get back to your end time conversation. Yeah, go uh, ahead, Ronan. Yeah, uh, there was a gentleman by the name of Harold Camping. He was a Christian broadcaster, and he predicted uh, the end. Uh, I believe it was September 1994. Right. And then he updated it when it didn't happen. And then 2011, I think. But the point that I'm trying to make is his followers and he had millions of them. I think he still does. I don't know if he's alive. I don't know. But the point is that those, a lot of those people sold everything they had. Right. And the day didn't happen. And like this man is like devout Christian broadcaster has been on for decades, as I recall. Uh, I'm not looking at the information, but from memory, uh, you know, like I do remember that incident where a lot of people just gave everything away. True. And that did happen, yeah. Yeah, and the day didn't happen. So, like, it's you know, he was predicting the same thing along the lines of what you're predicting, except with modern characteristics, uh, COVID, earthquakes. But th that, that's the thing, you know. And someone, I forget who it was, my apologies, uh, said uh, from the Bible that no one knows the day and time or something along those lines. And uh, well, that's true, I believe. I believe. I'm not, I'm not a uh, Christian. I'm atheist. But the point being, from that documentation from the Bible that says no one knows the day and time, I, I disagreed with Mr. Camping when he said it. And, and now you're saying it. And I'm saying, well, it's... That's kind of sketchy because the Bible says no one knows. Okay, there's different there's different uh, positions of conversation about that. Like there's different ways you can take that. For one, when Jesus made that statement, he hadn't ascended yet. And but when he but when he was raised up, when he died and was raised up, uh, Peter told him, "You know all things." So that would be one of the things that Jesus would know after. We're talking about after his uh, his resurrection. So okay, right, right. I understand it. You're right. Yeah. Uh, but again, uh, uh, no one knows that day and time. Uh, I, I'm not, I don't know the exact quote. My apologies. But uh, I do understand it. And like I'm saying, a lot of these people bring these things up and cause uh, devastation to others because they believe this person. Well, Mr. Camping at, at the time, and, and it's like uh, that, that's hard to take, really. Well, they, I mean, made a, they made a, a serious error in doing so, and I, I have in the past made similar error. But um, the thing is, is that have you ever heard of a prophecy teacher called Hal Lindsey? No, no. Hal Lindsey wrote the Lake Great Planet Earth and several other books. Yes, he was convinced that the world would end in 1988. He thought, he thought that was wrong. But no, that's not, that's not all he said about it. What he said was, his statement was that you should live your life as if you're going to be raptured today, but go ahead and live your life if you're going to be here a thousand years. Uh, point of moderation, David. Point of moderation. We have a new individual in the room. Edith, you're going to want to mute your stream. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, Edith, uh, welcome. Uh, tell us about yourself. First chance. Second chance. Edith, tell us about yourself. Uh, hello. There you go. Go ahead. Do you got anything to say? Uh, I'm just on here. Uh... It, okay. Uh, okay. You can add to the discussion. Go ahead, David. Sorry. Pick it up. <laughs> so what Hal Lindsey was saying was that, yes, he believed, at least the time he wrote that book, he believed that 1984 would be a, a probable date because he added 40 years to the prophecy of Israel becoming a nation in 1948. Therefore, he came up with the date 1980 as a possible time. And he said that nobody, he agreed, nobody really knows. So what he said was, we should, we believers should live our lives as if we're going to be raptured at any moment. But 
go ahead and plan our lives as if we'll be here for a thousand years. That way we don't get caught up in something like camping or, or dates or whatever. Yeah, you know, we, we could we could speculate, but anyone that says that they know for certain, no, they don't. Hello? Well, I agree. I do not agree. <laughs> Why? Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, let's see. All right, Melanie in the room here. All right, Melanie, uh, if you could just give me a thumbs up or something, I'll bring you on. Okay. Can you give me a thumbs up or something? Ah, that's great. Okay. All right, we're adding. All right, go ahead, David. Take it. You're you're amazing. Hey, David, you're a good show host. I'm just telling you, brother. Really? I, I really don't know. I really don't know what to do here. I mean, I'm just. I'm you're just good. I'm just responding to what other people are saying. Um, sure. Okay. Well, we have a new guest here, Melanie. So tell us about yourself. What do you want to talk about? Go ahead. Yo, I never fucked my never fucked Drake. I fucked my butt. <laughs> what? Wow. What's going on? I don't understand her. What's she saying? Yeah, she she's just gone. She was talking okay. about this is just trying to get my channel flag. Uh because there's certain things you can't talk about, David, that like 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 hard drug use and stuff. So she just said a bunch of stuff and she couldn't even well, get it out of her mouth because she's so stupid laughing. I didn't know this live stream was gonna be a Christian uh conversation yeah. type of live stream. I thought it was gonna be more of the previous videos that you put out on Instagram and stuff, but that's gonna be like that. What do you mean by that? What do you uh, mean? We're like we're like you're talking about your situations and stuff. No, I look. I'm done with that shit because these people have harassed me so bad, David. That my, financially, I I'm like two hundred thousand dollars in debt. Well, I'm, I'm not I'm not going to make a comment for this for this with respect to your stream. I'm not going to make comments about it. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks, brother. Uh, but I I'm just telling you from the heart. You're a good show host, so I mean okay. you are. You you know how to talk. So okay, we got peanut. Forgive uh, me. If, they, yeah, go ahead, Blue. No, no, no. If you don't want to talk about it. No, I, I can't no, be flagged right now for ban evasion. Do you think that? I mean, people are doing that. Do you think you're evading the YouTube ban? Okay, well, well, well. Who from YouTube Blue has contacted me telling me I'm banned from YouTube? You didn't get any message when your channel was just complete. Boom, gone. Boom. That's what it, it said? I'll tell you exactly what it said, Blue. It said okay. that 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 we we have decided to take your channel down. It did not say I couldn't make another channel. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Uh, is that against terms of service? I don't think it is. If it is, then I'll be taken down again, and it's it's justified, you know. I mean, so uh, if they send you a message saying, "Forgive me," just, I'm just speculating. Yeah. But if they send you a message saying, "Listen, we're taking down this channel too, and don't come back," then yeah. you would consider that a ban. Okay. Just oh, of course. Me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, 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 but see, this ban evasion thing. If you look it up on Google, man and research it there there is no such thing as ban evasion that's like not true you know it, it's it just it, it's not a tos thing it's just not kermitainment all right what's up hey, kermitainment? how's everyone doing hey there kermit. <laughs> hey what's up hey kermit hey, great to see you man Woohoo! hey good to see you blue you're blue i'm green isn't that great it's not easy <laughs> being God. blue or green no it's never but, easy being green you know what i mean all right jesus saves what's up I ain't a broke bitch! I ain't a broke bitch! Oh, wow. so that, <laughs> that's wow. awesome. Yeah, go wild there, my man. Go wild. That's an He's awesome thing, wild. isn't it? He's going this green. Is the, it, this is the end times, man. It, it, because they're mocking people as they starve. And that's Sodom. That's what they did in Sodom. And, and you are, are, you still, are you still on your doors, Coy? No, it's gone. I, I, Who is I had mocking people? People who are starving. What people are starving? I'm not mocking Haitians. I'm not mocking uh, people in the Congo. Don't, people who do that make me really mad. How dare you mock someone? How dare you? Hey, Rev, do, do you really I have to see it? anyone that mocks anyone for starving. My God, this Rev, is like Rev, are madness. You, are you aware? Are you aware that you could get emergency food stamps? Especially if there's kids involved. Yeah, it's already it's uh, already in process, David. It's already I mean, in process. You you would be able to get it like today, wouldn't you? If it was uh, like that bad. No, no, it what about takes. Food it, bank? What about food bank? Can you go to a food bank? David, can I can I get a word in? Sure, okay, go ahead. all right. Thank you very much. Uh, because of COVID, everything has been delayed. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, so, so it took a month for us to get our food stamps, and it got it's delayed because of COVID. There, everything is in the pipeline, and taken forever. Do you get it? Yeah. You know, so, I don't know. Uh, this sounds fishy to me. Oh my god! Like, dude. I mean, I'm talking about I'm talking about the process. I'm talking about we talk, like I understand there's a delay and stuff like that. Maybe I, I, I think that there would be something in place where 
if you're in a situation. All right, David, let's come out and say it. What are you saying then? Am I scamming? Is that what I'm no, doing? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I'm not saying that at all. I'm just I'm just then what are you maybe, saying? I'm saying maybe you're not aware. No, we filed for it and it's it's been delayed a month because of fucking COVID. Okay, okay, calm down. All right, all right. I'm not, no, I'm no, not, talk, I'm no. not accusing you of anything. I'm like for the sake of this live stream, I'm not accusing you of a thing. All right, thanks, David. You have a nice life very much. This is the end of the first edition of the Christian Support Group. Jesus bless you all. Take care, folks. Hope you have a great night.